I'm Lee Abrams. I am a senior scientist working in research and development in the oil and gas industry. I think it's important to really think about what you like to do, both on a day-to-day basis and on a sort of bigger grand scheme of things, like how do you want to influence the world? Do you want to influence the world? Or do you just want your job to be sort of the thing you can go home from and do something else that really interests you? Um, hopefully not that. Hopefully you you get a job that you love. <laughs> and don't don't be too preoccupied about, you know, whether your grades and the thing that you love are going to be the measure of your success in that area. And yeah, if you're thinking about pivoting and doing something new, try to get some experience in it. Like for me, getting research experience was the thing that changed my mind about what I wanted to do. So I have one other piece of advice. Don't feel like you only have to do STEM. You know, balancing STEM with other interests is in the long run probably going to be beneficial both for getting a job and for getting advancement opportunities because communicating what you can do in STEM to other people is a huge part of it. I I was really lucky in that I didn't know what I was doing when I went to college and I had no idea that again there were careers outside of well if you like science you must want to be a doctor. Uh, So for me, I had a couple of uh, really great chemistry professors who kind of saw that I enjoyed the material and I enjoyed the lab work and everything. And they encouraged me and almost pushed me into getting some new experiences in the field. So doing undergraduate research and just reading research papers and things like that. And that's what really opened my eyes to it. And if they hadn't done that, I probably wouldn't have known that that existed as a career path. I think you got to take the leap. And it's really scary to ask for an opportunity and not be like me and just get it sort of handed to you when you get lucky. But the people around me that I see who are really successful are the ones who sort of said, I am interested in this. How would I work on that? And reach out to people directly who they know work on that. Because more often than not, people are really excited about what they do and they want to share that with other people. So if you see a project or some research that you think is really interesting Talk to somebody about that and see how you can get involved. It's important to derive your self-worth from a lot of places, right? So maybe you had a bad day in the lab, um, something, you know, you broke something big and expensive, or you did something completely wrong that you probably should have thought about beforehand. Um, But you go home and you remember like, oh, yeah. But I also learned how to make a perfect omelet, so there's that. Or uh, I'm really good at painting flowers, and that's wonderful. So it's nice to have something else that that you can think about when bad things happen, because they're going to happen to everybody. Really, everyone's making it up as they go. They might just be showing it a little less. <laughs>